What can people who are interested in erotic power play learn from anarchists, and what can anarchists learn from them? I'm here with Andy Isenson, um, and I'm Kathy Martilli from the IntimacyDojo.com. And Andy, you're going to be talking about no daddies, no masters, DS, and power play as as anarchists and access intimacy at Woodhall Sexual Freedom Summit, which I love. It's a very interesting topic, and I think. Um, power dynamics is such a key topic right now in general, and I'm really curious, how are you, in, you know, I, I'm not sp super kicky, but my understanding was like, isn't BDSM very hierarchical and you're supposed to have power dynamics? Like, how do you play with that? I'm really curious. Well, so, uh, hi, Kathy. I'm really, I'm really glad to be doing this with you. Um, and um, I'm very excited to be talking about, uh, about this stuff. Uh, at, at Woodhull because it's something that I spend a lot of time recreationally talking about um, and talking about with my partners and friends um, and, and trying to figure out, you know, what does it look like to be engaging with power in our personal lives and in the world yeah. in the way that we do um, and how do we, how do we do that in a way that's ethical, that's consistent with our politics um, and that also is a good time for everyone involved. Yeah. Um, you know, and and when we're dealing with relational power in interpersonal relationships, there's a lot of power going in a lot of different directions at all times. There's society. Um, there's political. There, like it, it's that's one of the complexities of it for me. Like when I'm trying to figure out how much power I have in a given situation, I don't know what the other person's perception is, and like where are we all playing? So, sorry, just like absolutely, it's very nuanced. And, and uh, and it's never it's never one directional and it's never linear, mm -hmm. um, you know. So I think a lot of people like to try to simplify the conversation about power and yeah. say, well, this person has more privilege than that person, and so that person, uh, and, so, and so has to listen to them and obey whatever they say, you know, and try to make it this very simple of like who has the authority, who's in charge, um, and who needs to sit down and shut up. Yeah. And I'm really interested in complicating that idea because uh, none of none of these none of the ideas of power and privilege um, you know as they were actually initially posited have ever been that simple and it's really it's really appealing to try to make them simple in that way yeah. because it sure would be nice if the world were a simple place did you share why why did you choose Woodhull for sharing this topic it's a great topic I'm excited about it you know, I've been going to Woodhull since uh, 2010, I think, um, and I just I have a lot of affection for it. Um, I think it's it's a really lovely interdisciplinary group that is diverse in specific ways that I don't often see, um, and 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 so in in those specific types of diverse. Now, I'm not I'm not to say that the group is always diverse in the in the colloquial understanding of the word um because it is you know it does tend to skew white it tends to skew um in a certain age bracket it tends to skew you know in a certain income bracket like that's not what i mean when i say diverse but rather that often we find ourselves talking to the same group of people about mm -hmm. the same stuff yeah uh, and and woodhull is different people than i'm usually talking to about this stuff yeah um, and I like that, and um, and I find that it's a really receptive place um, to to try out new things. So this this panel that we're doing, um, it's uh, it's me and uh, and Rue Khan and Kate Diadamo and Ida Mandalay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that'll be. A, let's. I know I know. Yeah, it's great. It's gonna. And, um, and we've never we've never done this panel before. This is the first time, um, and we were just you know we were we were a, a bunch of us were I want to be creating change or something you know if we just, we do the circuit um, and we were we were hanging out and and drinking in our hotel room and, and yelling about this stuff, <laughs> uh, yelling about how uh, you know how the the idea of uh, of intentional power play gets so co opted by um, people who are in positions of hegemonic power and that it's such a different thing when it's done in a liberation oriented way yeah. and how like, we were so mad that no one paid attention to that 
and we're like, shit, let's go to Woodhull and talk about it. That's wonderful. I, you know, thank you for putting this together. This is very, like, for even as somebody who's not kinky, I'm like, this is going to be such a great talk, and I can't wait to hear it. You know, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I don't, I don't think you have to be. So when we we talk about kinky as an identity, mm-hmm. I feel like it gets, it gets really narrowed, That's and true. people, if I don't get off on like being hit with a bat, that means I'm not a kinky person. Yeah. Um, I don't actually think you have to be a kinky person in that particular way to benefit from having intentional power relationships. Yeah, and I do, um, I can see that because I, I guess I do, I, I make kinky mean a certain narrow thing, but I do like that someone tells me, okay, I'm in charge now and we're gonna play with that or I can be in charge for a while. And Like if, if you can imagine someone coming to you and saying, okay, so for the next hour, I'm gonna take care of you mm-hmm. and I'm gonna make sure that you're safe and I'm going to, um, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold you in, in not just a physical way, but you know, my my spirit is gonna hold your spirit and you don't have to be scared yeah. in the next hour. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. I I would never have thought of that as being in the in that play, but I can definitely see that. That's so. that's what I mean when I say power play, um, is finding ways of holding each other that we can actually take in. That's that's beautiful. Andy, thank you so much. I so appreciate your generosity. And if you're watching this, please sign up for Woodhall and come and see Andy and Ida and Rue. And who else was it? I'm sorry. Hey, Diorama. Hey, Diorama. Yeah, it's going to be a great talk. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you, Kathy. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.